Hello, old friend. Tyler Jones here with you. So glad to have you with us as we have breaking news on today's Ravens rundown. As the Ravens have claimed Sammy Watkins off of waivers after he was dumped by the Green Bay Packers, he'll be making his return to Baltimore where he was here not too long ago, 2021 to be exact. And it fills another void in the Ravens receiving room, especially now with the injury news to Devin Duvernay. More on that coming up in just a second. But first, Sammy Watkins, former first-round pick out of Clemson, won a Super Bowl with the Kansas City Chiefs, has played for Baltimore, Green Bay, Buffalo, uh, the Rams, uh, Kansas City, as we mentioned. Sammy Watkins has had a very good career to this point in time, and now a much-needed piece for this Ravens team that's trying to find any help that they can as they make this playoff push, a chance to clinch a playoff spot this weekend. And I'd expect at this rate, Sammy Watkins, with where the Ravens are at with receivers to probably get playing time right away. So with that, more on the signing, and also we'll update you on Devin DuVernay in just a moment. But first, your turn here on the Ravens Rundown. What is your one-word reaction to Sammy Watkins getting claimed by the Ravens and making his return to Baltimore. Let me know in the one in the comment section what your one word is. I'll give you my one word coming up in just a few moments, but want to hear from you guys first. Give me your one word reaction to the Sammy Watkins signing. Folks, this is why you subscribe to the Ravens Rundown. When there's breaking news, we stop whatever we're doing and we make a video. I was about to cover some college football stuff on our main chat sports channel. We said, nah, nah, nah. We're doing this right now. We got to tell you what's going on with Sammy Watkins and Devin Duvernay because we're built different around here. Subscribe now for the latest happenings on your favorite team. It's right here on the Ravens Rundown each and every day with Ravens news, rumors, trades, free agency, and more. Hit that sub button if you love your Baltimore Ravens, and we'll move on with the rest of today's show. My one word is needed. I mean, you looked at this Ravens team, and there were so many holes, so many problems with this Ravens team at the receiving court. Look, they started off the year 2022 already as is shorthanded. We looked at the receiver position as a weakness, and then the hits just kept on coming. And you look at the numbers from Sammy Watkins. I mean, sure, Sammy's not the same player that he was four, five, six years ago, but he's not a bad football player by any means. The numbers uh, over the past few years include 206 receiving yards so far this year, pairing up with Aaron Rodgers. Seemed like he and Aaron, that there wasn't quite the connection there, that they weren't on the same page, that Aaron had other guys he was more comfortable with. Last year in Baltimore, had 394 yards. 2020 had uh, 421 yards and two touchdowns. 2019, 673 yards and three touchdowns. The most impressive thing that you can say about Sammy Watkins, though, was his playoff runs in Kansas City with the Chiefs. And I know that Kansas City necessarily didn't get a whole lot of out of Sammy Watkins as far as being reliable when it came to the regular season. But he did so much for them in their playoff runs that he's probably going to be in the Kansas City Chiefs ring of honor someday, even though he wasn't there that long. They would not have won that Super Bowl without Sammy Watkins. You look at his career playoff numbers in seven games played, 26 receptions, 500 receiving yards, averaged almost 19 yards, over 19 yards of reception, had one touchdown in those seven games played, was a huge part of Kansas City's success when they won the Super Bowl. And you look at this Baltimore Ravens team, who we mentioned has a chance to clinch a playoff spot this weekend. As you gear up towards the postseason, and having a knock on wood, healthy Sammy Watkins that's been there, done that, that's been a veteran in these playoff situations before, watch out. I'm very intrigued. You have my full attention with this Sammy Watkins sign. Claimed him off waivers. You take the contract as is. He's been here before. He knows the system. I like the signing personally. To me, it's a low-risk, high-reward situation here where this Ravens team was desperate. They needed help. Sammy Watkins can bring that. So let me know in the comment section. Get out those red pins. Grade the Sammy Watkins signing. Type A, B, C, D, or F. 
in the comment section below of how you'd rate the signing of Sammy Watkins. Let me know. A, B, C, D, or F. We got a great deal on sale right now is Ravens jerseys of all shapes and sizes, colors, everything in between, past, present players, everyone from Mark Andrews to Adafi Owe, Ray Lewis, uh, and Lamar Jackson and more, Marcus Williams even. And it's all in one place. You can get yours now, chatsports.com slash Ravens jersey. Look, uh, Christmas just a couple days away, and you may be still looking for some last-minute gifts. Well, why not be rocking out with your flock out and be supporting your favorite team or making sure your loved ones or your friends are also wearing some great Ravens attire as well. Get your Ravens jerseys now, chatsports.com slash Ravens jersey. Get yours day while supplies last. So the injury news to Devin Duvernay, he missed practice Tuesday with a foot injury. And it's, I, I got to tell you, you know, it hasn't been great what we've seen, the things that have been dealt with with this Ravens team when it comes to the injuries. And so for Sammy Watkins to arrive at this time with this injury here is a big break of sorts uh, I mean, Devin Duvernay was the de facto number one receiver with the Rashad Bateman. And so hearing that he's dealing with this foot injury, I mean, the hits just keep on coming for this Baltimore Ravens team. They cannot catch a break. I mean, we're sitting here wondering about, you know, Lamar Jackson's status for one. I mean, he remained on the non-participant list in practice. The Ravens are still doing everything they can to get him ready to hopefully play Saturday. We heard from Adam Schefter on Monday morning say that, uh, they feel like that they're going to have Lamar Jackson ready to go. But, I mean, has anyone on this Ravens team not been injured this year? I mean, it's just been brutal. The bad luck this team has dealt, and they still have a shot to win the division. Quite frankly, I think it's an incredible coaching job by John Harbaugh. And even with dealing with an incompetent OC like Greg Roman, the fact they've still been able to win games the way they have, credit where credit's due. Devin Duvernay, it's, according to Tom Parosero, uh, a sig potentially significant foot injury for Devin Duvernay. And he's undergoing tests right now uh, as he left practice with that foot injury. So, with Duvernay hurt, what does the Ravens depth chart look like? Well, Marcus Robinson, Deshaun Jackson are your top two receivers with Sammy Watkins and James Prochet as your others. And, I mean, if you showed me this receiver depth chart in, like, 2012, I would say, wow, that actually would be pretty awesome. You know, to have Sammy Watkins and Deshaun Jackson, that'd be badass. Well, problem is, it's 2022, the last time I checked. And, I mean, it's you're relying on aging veterans. I, I, I mean, I, I give credit for the Ravens for, you know, at least trying getting Deshaun Jackson and Demarcus Robinson and Sammy Watkins considering the circumstances. But, I mean, goodness sakes, this is this is rough. This is getting really bad at this point at the injury front when you're relying on these uh, free agents that were just looking for jobs uh, this year to ultimately end up and be the guys leading the way here. So what's your concern with the Devin Duvernay injury? This feels like the, uh, you know, I don't know how to necessarily describe this. It If you are falling off a cliff, and you've already hit rock bottom when it comes to the wide receiver injuries. It feels like you found another way to keep on falling. That's how bad it is, I think, personally. Scale your concern. I don't know how it can't be a 9 or 10 with everything else that's happened at this point. Let me know in the comments section below uh, where your concern level is. Hopefully, Devin's all right as far as I'm concerned. Interact with me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Tyler Jones Live. I just posted moments ago the first look of Sammy Watkins in a Ravens jersey. Unbelievable. I mean, it'll blow your mind, folks. Check it out, and I'll see you next time here on Ravens Rundown.